What's up guys, J Flesh Tanks. Happy late Thanksgiving. Hopefully everybody had a good one. Um, you know, if you if you celebrate it, spent some time with family and friends, and was thankful for everything that we have in this life. So, anyways, 28 gallon guys, first showing, 28 gallon acrylic tank. It's been set up for about three weeks. Let everything melt, come back. Obviously, there's no fish in there yet because uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to put in there. But I, I stuck to one type of like look and plant wise. I went with pretty much grassy looking plants. So dwarf sage, Italian val, jungle val, willow high grow, and a couple different types of crypts like retrospira and this big crinkly looking dude right here I, that I, the, the name always, for one reason or another, I can't remember the name. I've had the plant for a year and I can't remember it. So, um, but I, like I said, stuck with straight grass looking plants still got some growth coming in you know it's gonna come in eventually but you know this time this tank to me looks more natural than like my 40 does um, my 40 is to me like it's my favorite tank of course but it's not like it's not realistic looking to me uh, this is something to me that if you stuck your head underneath the, you know, the water, you might actually see something that looks like this, all overgrown and grassy looking. Uh, 40 long, you're not going to see something like that in the wild. It's just not going to happen. But I love that tank. But this, I wanted to go more natural look. Um, you know, like I said, something that if you were to stick your head underneath the water, this is what you'd see. Um, and this is kind of the end result of it so far. I love it. I love it. Well, I'm rolling uh, T5HO fixture, and uh, I also picked up a double bright today, uh, Marine Land double bright. And I know I'm not, you know, picking up the Marine double bright to grow plants, but I wanted to get um, a nice brightness in the front, like right in the front middle, and then have it, you know, this it looks darker on camera, but this is under T5HO lights, like this section right here. You could see where the double brights is all this right here is darker and that's what I wanted to go for like I said I know I'm not I'm not trying to grow plants with it I just wanted to look I wanted to get the look uh, that I wanted you know back in the day you know if you wanted to uh, create natural shadows in the tank you know what I used to do would you know fold up a piece of tin foil and slide it underneath the light on like a TA T8 bulb you know if you wanted to create natural shadows in the tank you'd fold up a piece of tin foil and slide it underneath the the light bulb so it would create a natural shadow that might be something to think about guys you know if you're and that was when I had like the big tanks the the cichlids the snakeheads the arowanas the catfish and obviously I had bigger tanks then but you know to create those natural shadows you'd slide a piece of tin foil underneath the tank uh, learned that from my old man so shout out to my old man for teaching me that uh, but you know obviously I'm not gonna do that I got plants in here so I added another light it's it's smaller in length uh, but you could see there's natural shadows on the sides and that's what I want I wanted the front where this rock kinda comes down these three pieces of petrified wood I wanted that to really pop out with the driftwood so that's kinda in the end result shout out to the guys on fired up fish tanks for looking up the price real quick retail um, you know, I picked this light up for 33 bucks, double bright, Marine Land double bright. So, thanks for everybody on Fired Up Fish Tanks for looking that up for me real quick while I was in the store. And uh, I appreciate you guys uh, pretty much talking to me about getting another tank and uh, getting the canister filter. Picked up the Fluval 306. It's on the 40 long as we speak, bumping. Uh, it's a lot easier to hide a canister filter from your wife than it is another tank. So, that's what we went with. But rule of thumb, guys, you know, if you have multiple tanks, kind of just switch up to scapes. Uh, I try not to do the same thing in each tank. So this is kind of, you know, upstairs in my boys' room, I got kind of a an unnatural-looking tank with the 20 long that I love. And then I have more of a natural-looking tank with the Fluval Flora. So uh, downstairs uh, in, like, the living room, in the, in the dining room, I got the 40 long, and I have the 28 acrylic. Um, but tell me what you guys think. I'm loving the scape. Uh, I got a lot of more stuff to show you. I keep saying the pistogrammas, dwarf honey grammies. Um, I'm getting to it, guys. I, I mean, I can only make so many videos a day, and I don't want to just flood it YouTube with eight 
you know, videos for me in one day. So I'm trying to kind of space it out and uh, get the time to do it and, and get good, uh, good quality video of those fish because they're awesome. But other than that, guys, tell me what you think of the 28-gallon acrylic tank first showing. And I will see you guys on fireduffishtanks.neem.com and jfletch tanks mr mom tanks later guys